We have another discussion to have, and it's not about Tom Brady. It's about Kyler Murray, who's looking to challenge the conventional thinking regarding quarterbacks and their size. But there's one coach who may be reevaluating the importance of having a tall quarterback, and it's John Gruden. This week, Gruden addressed the issue, and here's what he had to say. I used to think that a lot until I saw Drew Brees twice a year in Tampa. Then I met Russell Wilson coming out of NC State, and now I'm watching this kid, Murray, coming out of Oklahoma, and I'm putting away all the prototypes I once had. I used to have a prototype for hand size, height, arm strength, and all that stuff, but he's putting it away now. The question is, do we buy the fact that he's, he's done prototyping players, especially the quarterback position? Well, first of all, that was a triumphant carryoff. We're yeah. celebrating <laughs> because I won. And, and I, I don't, I mean, John Gruden came back into the NFL kind of saying that he's going to take things back to the 90s. So now I'm supposed to believe that he's about to jump forward. I think this is malarkey, and he is throwing this out here because they have the fourth overall pick, and the three people in front of them already have quarterbacks. He's trying to raise the, the stock of his, of his draft pick and imply that maybe he's going to take a quarterback. He's not taking a quarterback, and he's certainly not taking a quarterback that's 5'7", maybe, 5'8"? Give him 5'9". 5'10". How tall do we him. think he really is? They, they, they promise us he's going to measure at 5'10". I think he's 5'9". I, yeah. I think so, too. And so it, it is a legitimate question, whether John Gruden believes it or not. Can a quarterback in 2019, which it will be when he is a rookie, succeed in the National Football League at that height? Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, the first thing I'll say is he had no problem seeing over the Oklahoma offensive line and the guy won the Heisman Trophy. Mm -hmm. We've seen the college game infiltrate the National mm -hmm. Football League. These guys are in shotgun, doing all types of spread principles. Any smart coach is going to implement things that made him successful in college. So, mm -hmm. absolutely, Kyler Murray can succeed in the National Football League. I am buying all of Kyler Murray's stock. Like, I don't care. You can quote it, take it, write it down. But this is a kid he's never lost. He didn't lose in high school. He didn't lose in college. He won the Heisman. And he waited his turn to do that. And he's really smart. Like, as soon as he picks up a playbook, he's like, I understand everything about it. That's something that we don't talk about enough. And he can make all the throws. Like, the, the kid is never, he's never feeling as though he cannot finish to play, complete a play, or execute the way he needs to. We literally have one quarterback, five foot ten or shorter, who has ever won an NFL game since the merger, and that's Doug Flutie. So I'm not suggesting he can't do it. I'm saying it hasn't been done before. It would be evidence more than anything else of just how much the game has changed if he is able to come in and not just win a little. You're not drafting a guy sure. in the first round to win a little, to be a star player. Yeah, I think he can be a starter and potentially a star player. I think what matters to me, the more I watch football about quarterbacks, is their accuracy. If he can put the ball where he wants to put it, I think that's all that matters. And I agree with Damian. The, off, the college principles are moving into the NFL. I'm not sure that I would buy all the Kyler Murray stock, mm -hmm. but I certainly wouldn't bet against it. The one thing that I do like is the baseball stuff, right? I mean, yes. we've seen it from Russell Wilson. We've seen it from Patrick Mahomes, there does Seems seem to be a lot to baseball translating to being an NFL quarterback.